Mr. Dong and, and, and Judge Smith, uh, you have a limited amount of, of funds and there are a lot of projects on the five-year plan uh, and we want to fund as many of them as possible. Uh, that means every new courthouse project must be planned, designed, and managed in a way to ensure that they are on schedule and under budget. Uh, what steps are you taking to ensure uh, that this happens? Uh, who wants to start? Either one. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what we have undertaken is a very collaborative effort from the start in the wake of the appropriations bill. Uh, we, of course, have been very grateful to have now $948 million for purposes of building new courthouses and or annexes to existing courthouses. But we recognized at the outset that what we had to do were, was to undertake steps to assure that we, as responsibly as is humanly possible and as efficiently as we could affect, uh, spend that money to see that facilities were provided for the judiciary that allowed us to do the job that we could do. Uh, the collaborative effort I've referred to has involved the entire court family and all those who have courts and venues uh, that will eventually have new courthouse construction. I, at uh, the end of January, convened a phone call of all the constituents involved and made sure that I reached out to them and emphasized the need to stay within costs. These are projects that have been waiting for a long time, many of them, and not all of the data uh, is up to date. It needs to be refreshed. We're in that process now. But the word has gone out and we have engaged not only the court, but our friends at GSA as well who have worked with us uh, in numerous meetings since then and in phone conferences and I know that Mr. Dong, Commissioner Dong can speak to that level of cooperation as well. Chairman, Chairman. Chairman Barletta, I am extremely pleased with the strength of the partnership and the quality of the collaboration that we've seen between GSA and the courts and our objective is the same and that is to maximize uh, the impact of the funds uh, that have been appropriated for the courthouse program. And every day we're coming together to work through specific issues at specific courthouses, and I'm, we're really seeing some terrific progress here, but I think it really comes back to that commitment to collaboration to make sure that we're able to deliver on the program for these courthouses. As you know, the Harrisburg Courthouse is number nine on the list. There's uh, funding are currently available for eight and partially some for nine. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure that we, uh, we stay on or under budget so that, uh, so that there is that money, that partial funding for the Harrisburg Courthouse re remains there and, and uh, doesn't get used up on, on, on the top eight and, uh, and the Harrisburg Courthouse would, uh, would fall further, further back. We are uh, certainly keeping an eye with a view toward Harrisburg. As you know, Mr. Chairman, uh, Harrisburg is almost in my backyard. I'm very familiar with the uh, existing courthouse. I'm very familiar with the court. And uh, I've uh, seen the court numerous times. I'm in conversations with the chief judge, uh, Chief Judge Connor of that district, and we are taking every step possible to make sure that there are sufficient monies after one through eight on the construction list to address at least the beginning uh, of the courthouse project in Harrisburg. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Don, currently we, have, uh, we only have one prospectus uh, for a courthouse on a judiciary's five-year plan. When can we expect the others, including the prospectus for the, uh, for the Harrisburg courthouse? We referenced we were talking about the terrific planning work that we see between the courts and GSA and right now we're going through courthouse by courthouse to make sure that we've got a detailed program of requirements that will meet the space needs uh, for each project and as we complete those requirements we will be submitting prospectuses to the Congress. Okay. Thank you. Um, Chair now recognizes Ranking Member Carson for his questions.